mentioned. And as you well know, Friday is Halloween. So plain pumpkins are now transformed into jack-o'-lanterns. With the right carving skills, you can turn your pumpkins into works of art. Look at that. That's impressive. But you got to know how to do it. It's not easy. We've got the person you need to help. Mike and Alex are with him right now, as a matter of fact. We are, but Mike has been busy working on this pumpkin. Are you Done. finished yet? Done. Okay, it's done. Let's have the reveal. Okay, back up a little bit, George, because you probably want to see the wide shot of this, okay? It's taken me two hours to do it. Well, look at that. Impressive. What do you, what do you think? You know what? I don't believe you. Okay, no. I, I believe it was this guy. Hey, Stoney. Our pumpkin oh, carver oh, yeah. expert. How are Hi. you? Good. Good. Ah! Did you do this? I did them all. Now, how long does it take? <laughs> Actually, this one probably took only about 15 minutes. Yeah, Mike definitely didn't do that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what do we need to know then when we're getting, I can know the first part, the gutting it out? Correct, correct. The first thing you do is actually gut the pumpkin. Well, the first thing you do is actually cut the lid off, and then you gut the pumpkin. You cut it off. How do you scoop it out? What instrument do you use? Um, actually, I use this spoon here, and what you do is you just go in a circular motion to take the seeds and the guts out. Okay. Okay. And then you dump that into the trash can, or you can roast the seeds. S roast the seeds, sure. Okay. Then I use a clay loop. And a I, what? A clay loop. A this clay is loop. actually made for clay. Sculptures. For, for sculpting. And I actually thin the walls of the pumpkin. Now, why is I, that important to do? Because when you actually use your, your carving saw, it actually goes, it has to go through the pumpkin. You have to actually be to able to see easier. the blade. Right. So if you don't trim down the inner wall, you won't get all the way through. Correct. Okay, because I leave the hair in there and everything. That's not a good you idea. You do? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's not good. This looks like just a regular X-Acto knife. That it you is. Have. Actually, what I use is I use uh, scroll saw blades. Where do you get those? Uh, just at a Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah. And you just cut them. Oh, then you stick that in there? And you just stick it in the exact handle. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, it makes it a lot smaller. Yeah, you can make the blade as long as you want or as short as you want. Hey, come around, uh, George, why don't you come around here and look at, can you see these from your angle? Help him around there. Well, let me help you. Let me help you. Now, is it best to just take, I know when I was little, we took the stencil on there look at and just kind of worked it that way, but it was hard because the paper would move around and I had trouble. Right. Well, there's actually a few different techniques on putting the transfer on, the actual pattern. Um, one is you can actually trace it on with transfer paper. Okay. Um, you can actually print it out on full sheet sticker paper and just put the sticker paper right on the pumpkin. Oh, that sounds good. And carve right through it. What do, then, why do you have a DreamWorks pumpkin? Uh, DreamWorks, this is actually, the reason why I'm actually here today is to promote um, How to Train Your Dragon 2 that's coming out on DVD and Blu-ray um, next month on the 11th. Okay. Okay, it's already available for download on all the download sites. <laughs> cool. Uh, wh how do I find more of your work? What, what is this? Uh, Stone Stonykins.com. I'm Stony. These are the Kins. Stonykins.com. Okay. Different uh, ideas of what to carve. Yeah, not only that, but I have 10,000 pumpkin patterns that you can pick and 10, choose. 10,000? Yes. Now, I, what's hold on a second. What's that mean? Patterns. You'd put a pattern, like like glue it onto the pumpkin? Like the sticker paper he was yeah. mentioning. Stencil. Yeah, there are stencils. Um, there's uh, tutorials with photographs on how to do it step by step. And what's the longest amount of time that you spend? Some of these are amazing. You see that Fox 29 one? Yeah, look at that, Alex. Yeah, the Fox 29 took about three hours to carve. Three now that's, hours? Now, that's actually a uh, foam pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. It's made by a company named Funkins, and they actually mold real pumpkins into foam. And yeah. what's nice about them is they don't rot. They last a lifetime. Yeah, you can light them up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So is it, are they easier than a real pumpkin? Yeah, but you do need, uh, you need special tools to do it, and I can show you one of them real quick. Well, the great thing is you're going to stick no! around. Oh, that does look intense. You're going to stick yeah. around and show us if we can't get some of these foam punk pumpkins, if we have a real one at home, right. how we can keep it longer. Correct. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of tips. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay. Can you keep the, the squirrels away from them? You can. Okay. You can. Tell we'll... us next, uh, next time we come out. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll be back. Carrie? Hey, look at this. Hey, one of my... Look at this, Alex. Okay. Yes? Are we staying? <laughs> Who's that? Okay. <laughs> we'll catch back up with them in a moment.